Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for May 31st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Last day of May, and it looks like we could go out with a record temperature. Our SkyCam network this morning, uh, there's the shot from uh, Gadsden with the sun rising in the east as we're looking off to the east-southeast. And it looks like uh, there's a little bit of uh, fog in the valleys down there. And Selma, some uh, nice shot there of the Edmund Pettus Bridge over the Alabama River and uh, skies looking pretty clear. And uh, the beach, fairly clear this morning. I see a couple of cars in the parking lot, but... Uh, they don't look like they're parking. Looks like uh, the beach is free, and I guess a lot of people probably uh, back from the beach and uh, headed back to work today. Heat, that is the main news across the eastern half of the country, and look at those 70-degree values. And, and keep in mind, these are the 5 a.m. temperatures, and look at that. All the way up uh, north of Chicago, my gosh, temperatures uh, in the lower 70s, all the way up into uh, parts of of uh, Wisconsin and Michigan and uh, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, uh, just uh, tremendous warmth going on. Of course, uh, the people in the Southern Rockies enjoying some cooler temperatures, um, and the reason for all of that is our upper atmosphere pattern. There's uh, the closed low coming across our ridge. The ridge is the big feature for the eastern half of the country, centered over about uh, Kentucky. We've got one closed low coming out that is going to uh, ride over the top of that ridge and suppress it a little bit, but not enough to really get it out of our area. And then we've got another closed low dropping in on the west coast, so things just not changing that much. Closer to home, our temperatures are very warm this morning. There's Birmingham at 75 at 5 a.m., uh, 70 at Tuscaloosa, a little bit cooler over to the northeast, 63 at Fort Payne, but you get up to Muscle Shoals, 71 to 70 down in Montgomery, so it is definitely a warm morning. QPF indicating a little bit more chance for rain, and that comes primarily into the weekend. Um, I know a lot of forecasts are uh, talking about the possibility of isolated showers starting uh, tomorrow. I don't know. I'm a little, little less uh, optimistic about that. Yes, I, you know, in the heat that we're having, we could see an isolated shower, but I think the coverage is going to be pretty small. The Storm Prediction Center outlooking a moderate risk of severe over basically Michigan, <laughs> and uh, to the just to the east of Lake Michigan, uh, with thunderstorms across uh, the New England states all the way back into Texas on day two. That slight risk is primarily moved to the east, stretching from New England all the way down to the southern Appalachians with another area uh, out over parts of uh, South Dakota, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and actually a small chunk of the Texas Panhandle and the Oklahoma Panhandle. The uh, Hurricane Center will start getting uh, things rolling tomorrow with the start of hurricane season, but right now no significant clouds or uh, storm systems that are being watched. All right, here's a look at the 06 GFS, and we're going to stick primarily with the uh, upper air pattern just because that pretty much tells the story. Here's, uh, here's our ridge becoming very elongated but staying very tough. As you can see, that strong closed low moving into southern Canada being um, deflected across the northern part of the ridge. In the meantime, another big closed low coming in on the west coast. For Wednesday, our ridge continues to retrograde a little bit, but still holding strong over Texas and, and nosing back across the southeastern U.S. Not much change to it. Uh, the 594 contour disappears, but still pretty strong over the southeastern U.S. and sticking its nose way up into Canada on Thursday. By Friday, still not much change, perhaps maybe moved back a little to the east again. On Saturday, still there. And, uh, yeah, I think that by the weekend we probably have a little bit better chance of seeing some air mass thunderstorms. But, once again, coverage not expected to be very large. Here is Sunday, uh, the 5th. Again, the ridge extending all the way from New Mexico all the way over into the southwest Atlantic. And, of course, uh, good closed lows on the west coast. By Monday, uh, the 6th of June, 
the ridge has shown some signs of weakening. So now we're beginning to get into some at least hopeful periods of time here. And uh, certainly the possibility that we might be seeing a little bit more shower activity by Monday. Tuesday, a week from today, we've got a little bit of uh, uh, disturbances, although the ridge building back. Now notice it's a 582 contour, not a 588 contour, so it's not quite as strong. Uh, but still building back, and we've got those little disturbances, those little vorticity centers you see in there, and those may help to contribute to some enhanced uh, afternoon shower activity, but that's pretty much it. Still very f slim chances that we'll see much going on. Going out into voodoo country, uh, I'm afraid the ridge is still there. Here's the 11th, uh, Saturday, uh, nearly uh, almost two weeks out. And then when we get to the very end of the period, again, the GFS suggesting that the ridge may break down over the southeastern U.S. and bring us some uh, slightly cooler temperatures. Again, not, uh, hopeful, but not terribly optimistic about it since the GFS has already forecast that once and we're not seeing it happen just yet. All right, well, that'll do it for this weather extreme video. Uh, just hot. Keep in mind if you're working outdoors or even playing outdoors that water is very important. Stay hydrated in the heat. We don't want any heat stroke from any of our weather extreme video listeners. I expect to have the next video posted uh, tomorrow morning around 7.30 or 8. Hope that you have a wonderful day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.